Thanks for joining us again and welcome to a day two. We're currently here, Glendale, California. On this video, if you grab your sun apps, grab your glasses, sit down, relax in your own living rooms, we are going to drive you across the Mojave Desert all the way to Las Vegas, Nevada. Certainly hope you are going to join us. We are almost ready to go, just to show you a quick room tour. Um, two large double beds, and we've got a sofa there, and yeah, a nice TV with, of course, YouTube on. Case is ready, we are excited for Sin City, Nevada. Currently 5 at 49 a.m., and it's a beautiful morning in LA. Gonna miss the palms, but we'll be back. Right, goodbye, a vagabond in. We will see you in about 10 days time and the sun is starting to rise a little bit we're going to get a nice uh, sunset sun sunrise sorry not sunset we're turning on to 134 east and we've now got 198 miles before we make a stop just look at that absolutely gorgeous sunrise this morning here in Southern California. You can just see in the distance downtown Los Angeles. Just about to pass the beautiful city of Pasadena. You can see the San Gabriel Mountains rising in the distance. This is the Fotel Freeway. And there's the famous Colorado Street Bridge, Pasadena, California. Some uh, pretty good shots of the big trucks as we that's the Mojave today. And all the San Gabriel Mountains are on the side of us. A lot of big trucks on the freeway. The sun is uh, definitely coming up now. Getting quite light. So I hope you're all enjoying this uh, beautiful drive. Here on the Foothill Freeway, we're heading east. In about another 10 minutes, that sun's going to come up and it's going to be blinding us as we continue the journey. Currently, traffic is light going eastbound. Uh, but it is getting quite busy westbound into Los Angeles. Traffic is now at a standstill. Heading west. I think you guys can see why we've had to get up early. We're currently moving this way, but again, look at it westbound to LA. 
thousands and thousands of cars and trucks and bikes. I've seen an old road sign, it was 55 miles an hour. Who remembers the good old days? 1988, 55 mile an hour throughout the United States. And we are probably just seconds away now from the sun arising from uh, the east. And the sun is now officially up on this uh, Monday morning. Hope uh, again you guys are enjoying sitting at home watching me and Glenn drive to Vegas today. So I'm going to flip the mic on now and uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit more clearer and louder quality video. Okay, DJI Mic 2, all working. I'll point out some interesting and not interesting things today. That's got a lot of wood on that vehicle. A beautiful shot of the San Gabriels. We've currently just crossed into San Bernardino County Line. So there we go. Goodbye, Los Angeles. Okay, so we've got 7.3 miles and then we're going to take Interstate 15, which will take us all the way to Las Vegas. Here we go. We're going to take the exit for the 15. If you can see for the sun, because we are blinded at the moment. Yeah, we're just uh, going to exit itself in. We're now going to follow signs for Barstow. Uh, we're still getting blinded by the sun at the moment, but we will do for the next hour, I guess. Look at that, the sun's risen uh, quite a lot now. Mm. San Gabriel's right ahead of us. And we've got to climb through the pass. And can you guys guess what created the San Gabriel Mountains and the pass right here? The San Andreas Fault. We're going to be crossing that in about 20, 20 miles up here. That's a pretty uh, nice shot. But again, of the San Gabriel Mountains. A little bit of information then about the Alcayon Pass that we're currently on. So it's created by the constant movement of the San Andreas Fault. Pacific Plate moving against the North American Plate. And it's going to take us to a height of 3,700 feet. So we've just seen the first sign for Las Vegas. 216 miles. And about where we are now, any time we are crossing the San Andreas Fault Line. Everything to our left is currently moving north towards Alaska and everything to our right is staying put here on the mainland of the USA. I'm sure you'll agree how beautiful it is here in California. So who likes shopping at Walmart? It's always a good place to get. A FedEx truck. Plenty of parcels on that. About 50 miles to Barstow. And again, the traffic heading west. Pretty heavy. And we've reached a summit. It's actually 4,190 feet. And welcome to Apple Valley, California. So we've left the big city. We are now driving through the Mojave Desert. We've got a sign for Las Vegas, 174 miles. The Mojave Desert, named after the local Spanish people all them years ago, is one of the smallest deserts but makes up uh, most of the American Southwest. And it's also home to Death Valley, the lowest place in the Western Hemisphere. Okay, the next uh, place here is Barstow, California. We do 
didn't stay there back in 1988. We're going to continue I-15, heading still to Sin City, Nevada. This one's uh, serving frozen food. Okay, so I can just see Calico on the hillside there. Calico goes down. Actually visited there in 1988. So good. So as we cross the Mojave, you can see the old, uh, I don't know, I think it's actually still in, in service that one, just parked up the train. So as we approach Las Vegas you start getting a lot of the advertising boards advertising the resorts of Vegas. As you can see the Mojave, very very flat. Last year it was quite green because they'd had a rainstorm about a week early. So how are you guys enjoying the Mojave so far? Hopefully as much as we are, we are, we are loving it. Having a great time. So a little update, we are 2 hours 20 minutes into the journey and we are 46 miles from the first rest area and the scenery is simply spectacular. Yep, there are certainly miles and miles of desert. An interesting road coming up. Uh, it's, uh, I think it says it's ZZYYXX or something like that. And this one's uh, ZZYZX Road. I wonder where that goes. As we approach the East Mojave Desert, the scenery gets even more spectacular. And right ahead of us is Baker, California, home to the largest thermometer. To the north of Baker is Death Valley. I like the reflections in the uh, fuel truck. Actually, probably see us as we uh, glide past. Let's check it out. There we go, there's the largest thermometer. It was currently only registering 75 degrees a year ago. That was like 95 degrees, so it's a lot cooler through the Mojave today. Right, we are here, Valley Wells rest area. A lot cooler than what it normally is. Let's go have a quick look around. So I tell you about the safety there. Flash floods and obviously the dangerous things here in the desert. You can see exactly where we travel from today. From Los Angeles, Cayenne Pass, San Andreas Fault, Barstow, through Baker, and we're there in Valley Wells. And yeah, we're heading to Lake Mead. And we've not really got that far to go, so we're here. We're going to add into Nevada and across to Lake Mead and the table, our picnic table. Is right there. A great map again. You can see LA where we were. And uh, yeah, we are basically around about there. Pretty close to Vegas. Well, we're having a quick break. Might as well just show you the the motor we've got. Uh, it's looking uh, really, really good. Love the colour. The signs look well on it. It'll certainly be uh, pretty dusty 
by the time uh, we get to Vegas. We also have plenty of room. So we've got some bucket seats in the back there. And the driver's seat and passenger seat. Plenty of room. And we have California number plates. So the vehicle was registered in July. And this is a Pacifica hybrid. Right, we've had a nice little rest. Now I noticed um, uh, my mic wasn't working properly before, but it is now fully on, so audio should be top quality. <clears throat> we've now got 84 miles to our favourite picnic table at Lake Mead. And as you can see, it's certainly not a boring road. There is uh, plenty of scenery. As we head down uh, this mountain range. The mountains over there will be Nevada. The Silver State. We now get the first glimpse of the solar panels there. And right in front of us you can see the California Nevada state line with the big casinos how much power those generate just by the sun. I'm guessing right over there in the mountain ranges would be like the Black Canyon area and beyond that Lake Mead. To the left, over down. We're now approaching Prim. These are the first casinos seen right on the state line and here's the sign it's goodbye california hello never that's a new sign isn't it and we're also in clark county now and i do believe a lot of all this is now reopened since covid this resort is Buffalo Bills with its own roller coaster right around the hotel. Across there at what's known as Seven Magic Mountain. There is Speedway Vegas. That's where you can go and drive a fast car around the track. The billboard flipping great. You can just see Las Vegas appearing out of nowhere. You can see the strut. There we go, we have arrived. Right, an update. We are 13 miles from the table. So we're going to enter in the Lake Mead National Recreation Area and we're going to probably get an annual pass. America the Beautiful, which will take us into any of the national parks in the USA. And I believe it's currently set at $80. On the left hand side there is Lake Las Vegas. <clears throat> Ahead of us now is the entrance to Lake Mead National Recreation Area. There we go, that's our annual pass. America, the beautiful. It's so good to be back in Lake Mead. Looking forward to having a little picnic now at our favourite table. And here we go, about four and a half hours from Los Angeles. We are arriving at our favourite table. Arriving at Dill Lake Mead on the right. We are back 
it's our favourite table. It's lovely to be back, isn't it? We just got here. Can you believe it?